If you bought the DeWalt air compressor, don't return it. Do this instead. All right, here it is. This is the DeWalt air compressor. It's a Flex Volt Advantage 2.5 gallon. Now, what this thing does, when you get it home, it's going to work fine for about a week or two. And then you're going to slowly start realizing that you're starting to lose pressure overnight. And if you leave your batteries inside this, this thing will cycle overnight if you don't turn off this switch, which I never do. And then you'll come back to a dead compressor, no charge in the tank. And it's really frustrating because you just spent $220 on this. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'll just get the other brand. The Milwaukee is almost $400 right now. This is still $220. This is an excellent value. I'm going to show you the easiest way to fix this. If you have this compressor and it's fully charged up to roughly about 120, 130 PSI, that's usually the kickoff. You'll see on the side here, we've got these hose clamps by this hose underneath here. Turn on this light. So right there, there's the hose and it's going into this this insert fitting here. And then we've got another fitting on this side. Now you can see where I've got this pipe joint, pipe thread compound, and I use this to help seal it. Probably use a gasket maker, might be better, but this is what I had. All I did was I took out these three screws, one, two, three here, and then on the bottom side, you've got two bolts. And if you go to Harbor Freight and you get this kit, I think it's the blue one which is a 10 mil, of course, 10. So you undo that. This side just pops off. This side will stay right here so you don't have to worry about this whole thing falling off. This thing maintains itself. You don't have to worry about it just falling and crumbling in your hands like some things do when you take them apart. You'll take off this side and you'll have full access to the hoses. Now it's really important because any amount of PSI is very dangerous in your skin. You can inject yourself with air and you have to immediately go to the hospital. So when you do this, you want to discharge the tank. So you want to take this valve back here. You want to do that and let the air all the way out. Make sure the whole tank is empty before you start playing with this, especially if you're trying to feel for leaks. It's better to hear for leaks than it is to feel for leaks. Once this is off, you're going to have access to the hoses. The first thing you're gonna notice is it comes with these stupid clamps. Now these clamps are very easy to come off. You can see right there, it's got a predetermined kind of spot. They're not like a normal hose clamp where you can just keep wrenching on this thing until you feel like it gets tighter and then keep going until you know that it's super secure. These things stop and they, they're predetermined. And frankly, it's, it's wrong. It's the wrong size. They've got some kind of crimp going on up here. These things are junk. Absolute junk. I can't stress that enough. If you have this compressor, I guarantee you it's probably leaking. This is my second one. I bought one, used it for two weeks, um, homeowner use, not even in a professional setting. And after running it a couple of times, doing a little bit of trim work here and there, I realized that what I said before, I was losing pressure and I could hear hissing. And sometimes that hissing wouldn't stop. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. And it was so intermittent, I didn't know if I wanted to return it if I wanted to fix it. I ended up returning it, got another one. I still have the box. Now, this recently started doing it again, and of course, it's a couple of months later, so I can't return it. I could warranty it, but they're probably gonna put these stupid clips back on it. So, this is the fix. The internet, if you look at the forums, they'll say something about super glue. I didn't do the super glue. Um, we, we kept that in the package. We went to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever your auto store is. Home Depot had this, Ace Hardware. Go get you some hose clamps. Get you some pipe joint thread compound or get you some uh, gasket maker, something like that. Once you've discharged the air like we talked about, very dangerous. You want to go ahead and put that on the barbs because it's got like, kind of like a barb that this hose comes off. So you got to kind of twist it as you're pulling it off. It'll eventually come off. Put some pipe pump compound on there, slip the hose back on, and then tighten your hose clamp. Make sure your hose clamp isn't contacting with this tank because this can vibrate a little bit. You don't want to be rubbing metal on metal. And these hoses are nylon reinforced on the inside. You can see that little line right there. That's nylon reinforced hose, so they can absolutely be hose clamped. Have anything to worry about. 
And yeah, this thing is held overnight with the same PSI. And I'm very happy about the fix. I'm happy about the compressor. Um, DeWalt, you know, they could have done it a little bit better and used the proper things, but the fact is they didn't. This compressor is the best value at $220 just for the compressor. And I still do recommend this compressor only because I was able to fix it. I'm gonna do an update video here in a couple of months and let you know how it's going. And you need three hose clamps. There's one behind, there's a, there's a, let's see if I can find it here. There's an aluminum hose there that goes to the, uh, to the valve. It comes down to the hose. That's one hose clamp there. Then you got another one right here. And then you have another one right there. And that's all that was leaking. These were tight. You can see they have the, the, the Teflon tape still on there. This one has some red, some red thread compound in there. These did not leak. These were tight. I checked all the connections. Everything seemed like it was tight. It was just, just the hose clamps. It was just a bad design. And uh, yeah, shame on you, DeWalt. But here we are. Here's the fix. Now you know. The internet says super glue. I don't recommend super glue. I recommend what I did. So give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.